All right, guys, now, this, uh, the temperature outside today is like 45 degrees Celsius. I've got this pool set up with a badass flamingo. Now the pool is cold. So what I'm gonna do is get this black hose right here, and a bunch of other hoses, and a pump. I'm gonna make a solar, make a solar heater, and I'm just gonna lie it out here on the concrete. I'm gonna see how that goes first. And if it works quite well, I'm gonna build another setup and put it on the roof above this pool. Uh, because this pool is way too cold to swim in um, but yeah I'll start putting it together we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll go from there all right so for starters I'm just going to join two rolls of 19 mil poly piping so once I've joined those two together I'm just going to use some 19 mil barb fittings join them together quite well and I'll just be using the 90 degree 19 mil barb fittings for any times I need to hook into the actual pool um, and the pool pump itself also got that same fitting size on it as well Alright, now, I've got the hose all connected up over there, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, I've got to untangle all that, but it's a bit hard to untangle without any water in it. So what I'm going to do, is one side, I'm going to hook onto the end of this pump, so I'll do that first. So that's just sitting there in the water. I'm going to clean that up as well and run a tube through so that if anyone actually puts their hand up against the uh, the entry or the intake, um, it won't actually block that and cause an issue. Um, so I'm going to plug that in now just to cycle some water in through all these hoses, which will make it easier for me to untangle. And I'll just leave them out there for the moment. And we'll also get to see how warm this is. Um, once it is turned on. It's not the most pretty setups in the world, but that's all good. We can fix that down the track. Um, now I've just looped the hose in through the side here. You can just see it poking out over the side there. Um, so I'm gonna make that go down into the water with just a 90 degree barb fitting. I plug this back in again. You'll see it start to pump through and that water will start pumping out the side. So if it stays just as warm as it was just then, I'd call that a success because it was quite hot. I'd say it was probably around 30, 40 degrees at least. Um, but yeah, we'll just see how that goes. So the flow rate's not too bad either. That's quite warm flow rate's not too bad so it allows for the water to actually get warmed up from the pipes itself um, now the annoying thing at the moment is if as the sun moves and the as the sun gets caught um, and there's a shadow cast onto the the ground won't be able to get too much heat from it so 
but that's all right. Once we move it on top of the roof, it'll have that sun for a lot longer. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna place a couple barb fittings on these ends to make it go direct down into the water and also run a bit of pipe inside here um, to suck up the water as well with the T-piece on it, um, which you'll see in a minute. All right, so I've just got one sitting in there at the moment. That'll stop um, any, I guess, accidental blockages um, for the moment. And I'll just leave that hose pouring in on the side until the next part where I'll jump up on the roof and install all the coils up on the roof instead and um, run that down the side of the wall and then up into the, the pool. Hopefully that gets the temperature up a little bit and makes it uh, a lot easier to swim in. I'm hot, I'm getting in the pool. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, hit that like button or you can subscribe by hitting the button up here. Now I've also got a couple more videos up here on this side and I've also got my cryptocurrency channel over here. So go check that out. But thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.